So, and my, another inspiration to me is, is, uh, is uh, Charles Bukowski. Did I hear a, did I hear a huff? Sorry. So this is, this is, you like Bukowski? You know Bukowski? I do. Are you a teacher? No. Are you a ring? <laughs> do you know the coffee shop from Bukowski? I mean, he's got tons of stuff. Anyway, this, this, this is uh, prose poetry, and I have to read this because I can't, I can't memorize it. If it doesn't have meter and rhyme, I can't memorize it. Coffee shop. The, Bukowski died about 1990-something. Pardon me. She has served me, and I am eating. Is everything all right, she asks? Yes, thank you. More coffee? All right. I am reading the paper and eating. Cream, she asks? No, thanks. She pours the coffee. Five minutes pass. She is back. Is everything all right? Yes. More coffee? No. Are you going to try one of our desserts? No, thank you. Come on, you only live once. Yes, I know. <laughs> she leaves again, but not for long. You care for more rolls? No, thank you. Do you like the turkey? Yes. You ought to try our roast beef. You mean now? No, next time. <laughs> She just stands there. I saw you in here the other day with your daughter. That was my wife. <laughs> oh, you're married? Yes. More coffee? All right. You take cream? No cream. She comes back and pours the coffee, then leaves. I tried. It's unbearably strong. They don't clean the coffee maker. <laughs> it's time to leave. I need the bill. I look for the waitress. I don't see her anywhere. I read the paper. Mass murderer boils the heads for soup. The busboy comes by, picks up my plate, leaves the bad coffee, then he comes back carrying the coffee container. More coffee? No thanks. Have you seen the waitress? No. Where is she? I don't know. He walks off. I sit there. Nobody appears. I get up from the table to go looking for the waitress. I find her outside the kitchen. She's smoking a cigarette and talking to the cook. Waitress, I ask. Can I have the check? Oh yes, she smiles. I go back and sit down. She arrives with a check. She signed her name at the bottom. Thanks, Carolyn. She's drawn a little happy face. She puts the check down on top of a wet spot. More coffee? No thanks. Was everything all right? Yes. She walks off. I leave a tip. Go to the register. Pay the bill. The owner's behind the register. She takes my money, hands me the change without looking at me. She is an older woman, a bit on the heavy side, still looking at something else in front of her. She asks, was everything all right? <laughs> yes, I answer. And I go out the door and into the street and into the world, never to return there again, not in this life or any life. I find my car, get in, drive away, thinking, now if that wasn't hell, then hell isn't going to be so bad. 